Okay, so what's your name? Kai Kai. How old are you, Kai Kai? Two. Two? I'm two. I'm two. Say hi. Oh, oh. We see you. You, you watching us right there. We we'll see you over there. Who we'll see you? Yeah, yeah. She wants a lean. She wants a Gucci. I ride with some honey, so me I got a Gucci. Pull up in a Jeep. I put it on for a G. I want your body. Give me some time on the front seat. We go. Oh my gosh! Okay, I gotta get out of this. <laughs> oh, you hit that wall! Hey y'all, it's your favorite small hair, bald head, hair color queen, every hair color queen, Yannicka. And today I'm gonna do a different type of video. Now, this video today, I'm excited about y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a little background on me. From the title you see, you know what it is. But background on me, I went to um, college for four years, majored in fashion merchandising. I have a bachelor's in fashion merchandising. I have a minor in business. So I really am into, into fashion. Ever since I was a kid, my grandma taught me how to sew when I was younger. And um, I went to high school, I took a fashion marketing class. I found out about styling and all that stuff. So ever since then, I've been in love with fashion. You know, I was always into makeup. I wanted to be a makeup artist, all this stuff. But I knew I was always into like creative things, you know, like makeup, hair, weave, eyelashes, you know, stuff like that. Like skincare, clothes. That was me. Like I'm an artsy person. Hey, I just like hit my finger. Either way. So yeah, today I'm very excited to do fashion do's and don'ts, celebrity version. And a lot of these styles I picked were winter styles. You know, I want to talk about them because where I'm from it gets cold and we do have to change what we wear in the winter it took a lot to get to this video y'all I'm gonna tell y'all my daughter is screaming in the other room because she doesn't want me to do it so it kind of messed up my mood I hate that you know but mama gotta do stuff for her too you know sure so let me tell y'all so y'all know I film my phone so I don't really have a MacBook I'm using my grandma's laptop what I did basically was go to Instagram I screenshotted some pictures of celebrities freaking uploaded to my grandma's computer she has a HP I had to upload them on word so when I'm looking at them I can't really zoom in so I'm gonna be like looking I'm it's just the ghetto version either way we got Lizzo I'm loving it I'm loving the jean I'm loving the jean and the red with it the red um what is this called it's like a corset kind of top you know I'm loving it. I'm loving the circle glasses. I'm loving her look. You know, she, sometimes Lizzo does push it with the outfits and certain things that she wears, but she's really doing a good, she's looking good. She got the red nails to match her red top. Also, her jeans are not too tight on her belly. You know, us who have a little pudge, you know, we should wear things that flatter us other than like kind of make the pudge come out more. I kind of I'm gonna show some pictures of this lady I seen this on Instagram she has like this corset body you know body shapers so I think that a lot of us do wear that when you come across some clothing that might be a little tight on your stomach and you don't have that Instagram famous girl body small waist big butt whatever we got it we got we got stomachs because you know natural women we have stomachs so I would suggest wearing some shapewear you know and smooth it out it makes it looks really nice better than just you know having to pudge there even though you know people should love you as you are but you want to look you want to look put together you want to look clean so that's why i really like this look for lizzo she looks super clean super beautiful this is a fashion do okay you can wear this to just the store you know that's cute i love it next we got gucci look at him gucci looking good okay he got on the red suit with the red coat with the black pants. Okay, he got the jewelry. He looking good. Okay, he looks nice. This is a fashion dude. He looks very clean, very well put together. Got the glasses on, I think. Yeah, he got the glasses on. Looking very good. He coming in there looking nice. He looking really suave in our shot. Next, we got Gucci and we got Keisha Kaior. I think, I believe that's his wife's name. They look bomb together. Love it. The red and the black patterns complementing each other is super nice. The jewelry is super nice. I love when couples match, you know. I love that, like, not exactly matching, like, 
you know, toe to toe the same thing, but when you're complimenting each other, it's beautiful. They look very um, well put together. They look very sophisticated. I love the looks. Very classy. So that's a fashion do. Next we have Jada. Look at her. She's so cute. I love her. Like her style all together is, is dope. So this look right here, she got the Gucci on. She got the Gucci pattern leggings on. And then she got the Gucci socks and she got the Gucci shoes. She has got all the hair pins, the hair accessories. No, y'all see my, we all see my look. Now here, this is what I don't like. Okay, I think that when you have patterns on your pants and your leggings or whatever you may have, you should not put pattern next to pattern. I feel like her shoes are so patterny kind of with the chain laces and then she got the socks it's doing too much i think that the bottom is a little bit too distracting for me i feel like since her leggings were patterned she didn't have to do too much she didn't have to add the socks but i know she did it to match her jacket and it, overall she's matching she looks beautiful i would just say the bottom is a little too distracting and i would not put so much pattern on pattern you know like to me that's a don't don't do that if you have pattern leggings pattern pants don't don't do too much just don't do too much next this one with jada is beautiful i love you see what i'm talking about with the pattern she has a pattern hat and then she has the pattern shoes and the purse to match and her dress is just plain i feel like that's perfect you don't want to do too much if she would have had a pattern dress on as well i feel like it would have been a little bit too much but I get why she did it. They're all the name brand of whatever brand she had on. I think, I don't know if that one's Gucci too, but but they all are brands. So when people wear name brands, sometimes they like to drag it, but I feel like you should never just, don't do too much, okay? Be clean. I love it. She has a white dress on. It's bare. She's not doing too much. She looks good. First with the brown, we got Heather Sanders. I love her. She represents the thick girl. She got her Sorella Boutique. She's bomb, man. She's bomb. Y'all should follow her on Instagram. She, she everything. She, I love her outfits. Um, she just had another baby too. Can't even tell. She looks good. This brown, I love it. I love this two-piece set. It's awesome. And she's so, like, her stomach is so flat. I'm jealous. It's like, she don't need no shapewear. Like, it looks good on her. You don't want to wear I know with these jogging suits, I have some too where the pants are a little bit too tight, especially around my stomach, my midsection area, so it makes my pudge look bigger. You don't want to do that. That's a no. Hers looks perfect. It's loose enough, doesn't look like there's any pudge there. It just looks smooth and I love how she has that brown coat on top of her. She looks very sleek. It looks good and then with the clear heels, she didn't do too much. She looks good and this brown complements her skin as well because she has brown skin she looks beautiful um jordan jordan she looks awesome she looks really good and she also is one of those thicker girls who has like the perfect body like what i'm so jealous <laughs> i got her program her workout program girl i'm trying i'm trying y'all but yeah she looks really good she has the brown lipstick to match her makeup is very subtle but very like dark like she's striking because she, all that brown she has on and it complements her skin as well and then her purse is not doing too much it's tan got a red and it got blue in it it's just you know her dress is bare so she can add a little pattern to her to her purse these these are fashion dudes i like them now let's ricky ricky rose ricky rose look at him with the fur y'all this is it okay this is another brown look i love it he has his brown nikes his tan nikes tan and white i think and black with his black pants and i can't see what his shirt is but i see he has the brown fur he did it, it, it matches perfectly because his coat his furry coat matches his tan on his shoes so he didn't do too much and he has the plain black pants so it like it looks really really good and he got the uh, gold glasses too don't miss the gold glasses and i like how he took the picture next to a brown car a brown and tan car yeah he did that that's cute i like that kanye west you know y'all love his fashion his fashion is so crazy isn't it he be selling stuff that homeless people wear for like what millions of stuff what thousands i don't know how much that stuff costs either way i don't know how y'all feel about his outfit okay well i don't like it and it's not because it's kanye it's just because if anybody wore that i don't like it he has on a blue circle brown circle and he has a tan top 
and then some blue like bell bottom type jeans i'm not sure what's going on here it's not even matching i don't like it i think the worst thing in the world but i personally don't like it. he look weird <laughs> if he came up to me i would be like get away no. <laughs> it's not flowing he doing too much you know he, he loves to do too much yeah i don't know what kanye doing but that's not he weird he weird <laughs> I don't really like it. That's a don't for me. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. I don't know nothing flowing. The blue don't even match. I just don't know what's going on here. He looks weird. I don't know. I'm not feeling it.